A COVID-19 vaccine is still no guarantee, and the World Health Organization now says we should all get used to living with the virus. Without a cure, it could take years for people to build up immunity to it. And even if a vaccine is found, it would take time and a huge logistical feat to roll it out worldwide. Well, to discuss this, a short while ago I spoke with Martin McKee. He's a professor of European Public Health at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And he told me people should prepare to go in and out of lockdown as authorities struggle to control the rate of infections. We, if we look at the various steps that need to we need to go through, first of all, we have to develop a vaccine that actually works. Now, of course, there has been a superhuman effort and we're making a lot of progress in doing that. We already have in Oxford a vaccine in phase one trials and other parts of the world too. But then you've got to scale it up to cover the, essentially the entire population of the world. You've got to make enough uh, doses of the vaccine. Then you've got to distribute it. And of course, we are going to be facing major challenges in conflict affected areas. Are you going to have problems with uh, areas where the health infrastructure is weak? And also there are going to be problems in some countries where there is a lack of political leadership to drive this forward. And that includes at least one of the richest countries in the world where we can see potential challenges. So then we have the problems of whether or not the immunity is going to be long lasting. We don't know that yet. So it is a realistic assessment, but you know, we, we can hope at least that we won't have to do that. Well, you mentioned there are troubles of leadership, but you know, what can authorities or perhaps people themselves be doing to take to ensure that we can continue or they can continue living as normal? Well, I think what we saw was that people were ahead of the politicians in many places. We've done work looking at the change in movement and mobility uh, before the restrictions were introduced in a number of countries. And what we see is people were actually restricting their movement before that, that happened. We've also got a lot of polling data in a number of countries showing that people are very reluctant to go back to where the situation before. I think it's going to be quite challenging for the airline industry, for the hospitality industry, because as long as we're still seeing people dying from this condition, uh, people, a lot of people are going to be unwilling to take a risk. Now, even if it's only a small proportion that are unwilling to, we've got to remember that both airlines, particularly the low cost um, end of the market and the and bars and restaurants are dependent on operating at a very high level of capacity for their profitability. So that's going to be a challenge as to whether many of these things are going to be viable in the future. Indeed. So, you know, a lot of hope has been put. We've been hearing today in uh, the UK, for example, uh, launching this antibody test. Do you think they're a real solution yet? The data that we have on the prevalence of antibodies in uh, studies in, in Spain and in France in the last um, 24 hours give us some cause for concern because what we're seeing is between 5 and 10 percent of people have already been infected in countries where there have already been uh, tens of thousands of deaths. The idea that we might eventually get some level of herd immunity is really not one that I think anybody take seriously anymore uh, because the, the casualty toll would be absolutely enormous. And in fact, Mike Ryan and the World Health Organization really uh, squashed that one very firmly in a press conference only the other day. Uh, so I think we are going to see people continuing to physically distance themselves, continuing to avoid mass gatherings, even when these things are possible. And uh, that's likely to go on for quite some time. Uh, essentially, people will look around and say, well, if, people, if there are still deaths occurring from all of this, do I want to put myself at risk?